Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to create area chart in the SSRS report. We will prepare our data and then we will play with the different type of area charts such as simple area chart, smooth area chart, stacked area chart, 3D and all that. And then finally we will display the data labels on these charts. So let's go to the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and take a look. We have select query that has region, country, item sold from DBO sales table. Now I'm going to use uh, this query and uh, region will be used as a categories and uh, country will be used as series group and uh, we'll use item sold as our values in our chart. Let's go to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. Right click on the reports and then add a new item. In this one you will be selecting report and then provide the name. So I'm going to call this one area report. Now hit add and uh, click on the data sources right click add data source and here you will be providing the name let's call this one DSS sales so now we have to use the shared data source reference and we have created shared data source already shared data source is a good idea to create if you are creating multiple reports from same database hit ok now go to the data sets right click add data set and here you provide the data set name D set sales use a data set embedded in my report that's fine and the use a data source provide the name and paste your query here I'm using select query you can use store procedure if you have it okay now in the design surface right click go to insert and then select a chart now you will be seeing different type of charts here and we are interested in area chart so select the area chart and then select the very first chart we have different types so we have a smooth area we have a stacked area we have a 100 percent stacked we have 3d and all that so we'll play with these types and see how they look so first we will be starting with the very simple hit okay now you see that with the area chart it is covered so values are here and then the rest of the part area is covered with different colors and on y-axis we see the interval and on x-axis we see the categories so let's double click here and provide the items sold for the values so this column will be used for values and the height of these will be depending on the sum of items sold uh, on the y-axis so they will go upwards and then uh, we have to provide uh, the region as a our category so this will be region now hit ok if you notice that I did not provide any series group as of now I just wanna take a look how this uh, chart will look like uh, this is how the chart will look uh, it for Asia it is starting from 10 and then uh, for no Europe uh, it is close to somewhere like 20 and uh, for North America it is a uh, close to 10 so let's provide the exact values so we can see what exactly the values are so right click on the chart say show data labels now preview the report again and uh, here we see that a 10 for Asia 19 for Europe and 11 for North America so this looks better now let's go ahead and play with this uh, different types so right click and say change chart type and here we have a smooth area and before that if you see our chart is uh, more uh, it's not smooth at all so with this one it will be more smoother now click preview and you can see that now the curve is smoother so that's how you you will be creating area chart as a smooth area chart by just selecting that type now let's uh, go ahead and uh, change uh, chart type and say stacked area stacked when the series will be stacked on each other for each of the category and that's how the stack chart is right now if I will preview it I do not see any series because I haven't added any series we have Asia Asia has countries such as Pakistan and India and but they are not added as a series group so you you don't see them here now let's go back and add that series group so country and now we would see those countries or series group are stacked on each other so you see that India is here and then Pakistan is here so seven and three values that make it ten so for Asia we have a, a total is ten but uh, seven uh, items were sold in uh, uh, India and three items were sold in uh, 
Pakistan. For Europe, uh, the same thing. You can see that the values uh, are these series are stacked on each other. So countries like France, 17 items were sold, and then we have Germany. So that is stacked on each other. And for USA, there is only one country, so nothing to be stacked on each other. And uh, this looks good. Now let's go to and explore the other one. Click uh, on the chart here and uh, change chart type. Now we will be going 100% stacked area chart. Hit OK and uh, preview the report. Now you see that uh, even we, we, we sold only seven items in India and three items in Pakistan. Now we are considering the inter interval from zero to 100 as, as it is 100% stacked chart. So uh, we can see that 70% of the sale happened in India and 30% sale happened in uh, Pakistan. And the same thing you can see for Europe. We have uh, France 89.45% um, sale happen in uh, France and the rest of that happen in uh, Germany. For America, as we do not have any other country in this uh, uh, North American uh, category, this is the only country, that's why it is shown 100%. So this is called 100% stacked area charter. Now, next, uh, we can go ahead and change to the next one and see change chart type. And here you see 3D area. And if you see here, now, the, this uh, doesn't work with every everything like let's say um, this this does show the values but uh, for me i don't know like uh, how exactly th this is uh, more readable so if i will remove the country and uh, just leave uh, the re categories it works better actually for me so if i will just uh, want to in have information in this way in 3d and uh, this works uh, great now it will be your choice you want to play with different types and uh, maybe it works better for you and you can change the chart type now for the other one we have smooth one and then we have stacked and all that so you can play with these values and see how they will look like so this is a pretty much it for the uh, area chart I recommend playing with it and whatever the works best for you or according to your requirement choose that chart and thanks very much for watching this video I will see you guys in next video